the water is that way. We can go down. That's so funny when they walk. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that part, that's pretty cool. I'm not amused. <laughs>
<laughs> so cute. Wow. First time I've ever seen it stand before. What are these? Uh, today. <laughs> Some kind okay. of monkey. <laughs> She's so wacky. Whoa, hello. <laughs> A model? No, it's not. <laughs> it looks quite still. I think if I call out Bambi, he'll respond. Bambi! No.
little noise for the baby. Lunchtime. Yeah, they probably know. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sounds like they know what's coming. No, there aren't, really aren't. Meg over here, who's one of our birdies up here at Mower. And as you can see, Nick is 
extremely busy at the moment. The train's her best to give our 39 Humboldt Penguins for their dinner. But not only that, train very hard not to get her fingers pecked as she does so. And with that, I will give each and every one of you a warning. Please do not put your hands or your fingers near to the water or to the penguins' family because they are very hungry and very likely to mistake your fingers for a nice tasty fish and try and give them a little bit of a pet. So keep those hands and those fingers well away, please. Now, as you can see, our penguins have worked and still them a little bit of cheating frenzy. They're very eager to come and get their fish. I will say they're not quite as hungry as they look. They have already been fed once today. They had their breakfast around about 9 a.m. this morning, and now they have their dinner at 3 o'clock. And not only that, we let them eat as much of those fish, as much of those herrings as they want, so they're completely full. Because they're quite sensible birds, we'll just have enough food to eat. They usually send back into the water, or from a far away rock over there. It's nice to eat away from the water, and they want to send Yeah, it's just kind of fucking dark. Now, as you can see, Meg is hand feeding our birds this afternoon, and we're doing that for two very special reasons. First of all, it gives her a chance to make sure that every single one of the 39 penguins comes up for their breakfast and their dinner every single day. Because if someone reason one of them stops coming up for their feed, it might be a sign that something's wrong with the penguins. But not only that, it gives her the chance to get really close to the penguins. But this is a perfect opportunity to look them all over and do a little bit of a visual health check on them. To look at the smelly of the birds here and make sure they all look in really good condition. Put some herb on a straight slice like that on the body of our birds. So I will say though, although we're hand feeding them today, these birds are perfectly adapted to go and find their own food out in the wild. And they tend to eat fish from small, large schools, so things like herring, also things like anchovies and sardines as well. Well, that's in loads of different ways. First of all, they have those very big, very sharp beaks that are all about. And those big sharp beaks make some really simple work and catch on to even the most slippery on fish out in the wild. But not only the brilliant adaptation for them, even if they've got a very, very wiggly fish, tiny stuff to escape from the sea together, it's not usually a little bit of 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 a little b